Welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today we're talking cable and electronic throttles. In order to control the amount of air available in an engine, thus control engine power, there's a throttle plate actuated by either a cable or an electronic motor. When the throttle plates close, the engine will idle. When the throttle plates open, the engine will make as much power as possible. It's pretty straightforward, that's the way it's always been. So, how does it work? Well, if it's a cable style throttle, we've got, normally have an adapter on the side of the throttle body, where the cable comes straight from the throttle pedal to this sort of adapter, you press the throttle pedal down, the blade opens and closes, directly related to the throttle pedal. If it's an electronic throttle, a little bit different. You can notice on this one and this one, there's nowhere to attach a cable. That's because we've got these electronic connectors on the side here. There's some position sensors that go into the engine management system. So they measure the angle of the throttle blade in here itself. And then it's also got two wires or two connections for a DC motor. That motor we apply 12 volts and zero volts and we flick them back and forward. So if we wanna open the motor, we push it in one direction. If we wanna close the motor, we push it in the other direction. If the throttle plate is controlled with a cable connected directly to the throttle pedal, then there's very little interaction with the engine management system in the way of power delivery and, and power control. However, if an electronic throttle is used, we've got a wide range of options. Firstly, an electronic throttle can be used to perform idle control. Removing the need for a separate idle control motor and reducing wiring and plumbing complexity on the inlet manifold. Next, the relationship between the accelerator pedal in the car and the throttle plate on the engine can be manipulated in order to make the car drive nicer or more aggressively or smoother, depending on who's driving it and how it's been used. The electronic throttle can also be used to perform launch strategies, rev limit strategies and engine protection. They even make things like valet mode super easy, where the throttle can be limited to say 30% when you leave your car at the car wash or lend it to a mate. How about configuring cruise control in your street or race car? No problems. Electronic throttle makes this an easy reality. What's the downside? Well, there really isn't one. Electronic throttle bodies are relatively cheap, easy to source and simple to fit. They're available in a wide range of bore sizes and are fairly compact, making them fade away into a tidy engine bay. All this stuff about they're slow to respond or they don't feel like a real throttle. Well, that might be right in a factory car that's been programmed that way in order to preserve driveline parts or protect engine mounts or as part of the factory car's stability control strategy. But it's certainly not because of a limitation or lack of control of an electronic throttle body. The electronic throttle can move as fast, if not faster than a cable style throttle, and it's simply down to the tuning to set up the way the throttle feels. The only tricky part in my opinion is mounting an electronic throttle pedal. It needs to have the right throw and sit in the right position when, uh, when you're at zero throttle, otherwise it just doesn't feel right. Software wise, it can all be calibrated very easily. It's just important to get that pedal feel right. Uh, there is a trick here and a simple solution. Some Honda Accord Euros around 2005 era used a cable to electronic adapter, now don't ask me why, where there's a normal throttle cable in the cabin which goes into a little box in the engine bay, which then converts the cable to the electronic signal which goes into the ECU. This little box is perfect for a retrofit because you don't need to re-engineer the throttle pedal. So if you've got a choice to use an electronic throttle, give it a go. I'm positive you won't be disappointed. See you next time.